things that are too round, you kind of just take out some of the, the cool stuff. So you have to figure out how, what tiles to put down, but it can't be this simplistic. You have to, you have to, you know, put a shape here, and you have to put a shape here, and you know, I mean, you you, you have to. You have to end up with that nice box, but you can't draw that too too simple. That that's a cartoon because then it looks like it's not real. So what can you do in here? You can you know, find the. Keep an eye on the shape. And then you can put in the soft edge. And what, what Fred would do is he would make a blur here. So you would have like a real shape right. here. This would be your real dark stuff, right. your black. And then you would put an in-between here. You know, this would be a soft, fuzzy edge. And then he would take some of the light and drag it in one or two places. And maybe take some of the black, you know, so that you kind of, you know, do this in your shape, you know, with the light and the dark. You're, 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 you know, you're, you're not just using him as reference. You're, you're, you're using him as a cool starting place, and you wanna, you wanna make him even cooler. You know, you're trying to make the best, the best portrait of him as you can. Okay. And also, same time, to keep the value in check. Well, just keep the values under control. Okay. You know, don't, don't get too crazy about the values. It's basically it's light pattern, dark pattern. You know, what Fred used to do is he, Fred never really looked at it and said one, two, three, four. He basically said. It's a shadow pattern, it's a light pattern, and then it's half tones that are so dark they almost look like shadows, and it's half tones, there's no question that they're definitely part of light. You know, so he just, it just light, dark, you know, and he'd have like a pot for the light stuff, a pot for the dark stuff, and then he'd just go up and down a little bit in the light, and he'd go up and down a little bit in the shadow, you know, just to keep it under control. That way, that way he didn't get, that way he could focus on the shapes and the, and the drawing. Yeah. Because it's hard to draw, you know, there's just too many things to juggle. Yeah, after a while, I just, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, keep it simple. Just make sure that those shapes look as, as cool as possible. See what you can do with the with the with the mustache. Like you, you have, you, you you got the right idea. It's just you need to look at some of those other painterly guys that see what they do with it. Like that one that we brought on our Fred's, like the guy with the blue shirt. I mean, you know the one we were pointing at. Because like the eyebrows and stuff are gorgeous. It's like it's like one average tone, and then there's a couple of high, you know details, and there's some some pretty edges. Is it chocolate? It's chocolate, and the um, the. Uh, just don't lose your drawing. <laughs> just whatever you do with, with you know with the smaller details, whatever you do with the little tiles, just don't lose your drawing. I mean don't I don't mean don't cover your drawing. I mean as you're refining the shapes, make sure you're still enhancing him. You know, don't let the shapes kind of like make it somebody else. So so that's what I mean, don't lose your drawing. Okay. You know, and then this you, you made a good choice there to pull that out so we can tell that it's not beard. In fact, you know, anything you can do to make it obvious that that's, that's back there instead of, you know, coming out of his chin. That's, that's a good thing. No, I've been tested because I've had that. I don't know. Should I just leave the shirt out? I just, I'd make that edge the thing I drew. I don't know about the shirt. I just, I just you know, I just do something with that, the end of that shape. Then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I do too. And I thought I was hypo I see me and I was I think some people just are like that, you know. They have to like that's why I'm still snacky. 